Okay, so let's do this one. It says uh, draw, um, write three resonant structures for hydrozoic acid. It gives us the atomic arrangement as being H, N, 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 and show the formal charges. Okay, so we're going to have H, N, N, N. So we have to have something that looks like that. So remember, nitrogen likes to have three bonds, okay, preferably. So we'll make that one have three bonds to start out with. Well, if we do that, right, um, let's make a bond there. Give that thing a formal charge. And like that. So is there any overall charge on this molecule here? No. So that would be one of the resonance structures of hydrozoic acid. Okay. So how do we do the other resonance structures? Well, we'll just draw a resonance arrow, and those are the formal charges, of course, okay? Um, and remember, when we're drawing resonance structures, we have to show a lone pair or a bond moving, okay? And another lone pair or bond moving as well. So what I'll do is just take this lone pair, um, put it there, okay? So the most bonds a nitrogen can make is four, okay? So already this one's making two and two, right? So if I add a third bond there, what do I have to do to the bonds over here? Take one away or break it, okay? So when I break it, I have to move those electrons not to this nitrogen, but to the one on the left, right? So I'm gonna break it, put those electrons there, like that. Okay, so let's draw that resonance structure. So notice, these are our, this is our electron, um, what our um, electron spacing looks like, right? So if we have four bonds to this nitrogen, remember to do your formal charge calculation if you can't see it, that's a positive charge. Two bonds and two lone pairs, so that's a negative charge there, okay? So um, those would be two, how many does it ask for? Uh, three. Three, so. Three. Okay, so let's do one more. Um, so, um, what do we got? We got two and two. So another one we could do is to push these electrons onto there. Okay. So let's. I'm going to erase this one. Okay, and we're going to start from this structure again. And I'm going to push these electrons to there, okay? So if I do that, what do I have to do here? Push these electrons over to here, like that, okay? So when I do that, I get a, not a very good resonance structure because we'll have a big charge differential here, okay? So look what, I, look what happens. So H, this N has what? Three? Three bonds here and one bond there, right? So what is its charge going to be? Plus, right? And then this end, this end has three bonds there and one bond there. So what is its charge going to be? Plus, right? And then this has how many lone pairs? Six electrons, but three lone pairs, right? So if I have two lone pairs, what's my charge? Negative. Negative. So if I have three, what would it be? Negative two. Okay. So that's the other resonance structure. Notice this one has a negative two, bad already, and it's got a bunch of charges, right? So we got one, two, plus two more, so like four charges, as opposed to these ones only have two. Okay. So if you wanted to say, what is the least um, resonance contributor, you would say this one would be the least, okay? Um, and then the major one, I would say the major one would be this one, okay? But this one would be um, in the middle, okay? It's recorded, it's going on YouTube. Any other questions about this one?